What's up guys, we're out here at Three Palms today. I'm in a huge hurry. I'm training a little bike and it's doing organized practice. So doing little bikes, I'm training, we're doing big bikes. I'm gonna be testing out these two bikes, a 22 model Yamaha. And then what is that, a 19 Suzuki? 19. 19 Suzuki, but they're the same as the 22. So it's basically 22 versus 22. We're both bonus stock, basically new on both. The Suzuki, even though it's a 19, super fresh. So I'm about to go out, try both these out. I've never ridden either one of these bikes before or even a Yamaha Suzuki, never ridden them. So we're about to get out here and try these things out. Um, Yamaha failure was really hard to shift. I was really pulling on the shifter trying to get those gears. I'll give y'all some more feedback here in a second. I'm in a hurry, so I'm gonna jump out there as fast as I can. I forgot my boots at home, so I'm wearing his boots. So they're too big. I, they're, it's like pontoons. I can't even feel the bike. It's crazy. No. Oh, okay. I just say hi. Oh, hello. guys so we rode both bikes the the difference in the two it's a lot more drastic i don't know i wouldn't say a lot more drastic than you think i feel like a lot of people have such a neg negative connotation on the suzuki they would just expect me to say the yamaha is better so i looked at the pros and cons of both so that way you all kind of have an idea so obviously kickstart everybody's gonna say the same thing suzuki has kickstart it's outdated whatever i get it so pros and cons on the yamaha pros obviously power is good everyone likes the power of the yamaha it pulls good me, I'm more of a top-end rider. I like to really, I wouldn't say rev it a lot, but I like to bring the RPMs up higher. The Yamaha front brake, to me, was like, it's, just, it's super spongy, and I'm not, it's not hot outside right now. I didn't do a super long moto. It just felt like I'd really pull on it, as I just didn't want to pull. The Yamaha clutch actually wore out faster than, or not wore out, but heated up faster than Suzuki, which you would think would be the other way around, because I'm trying to build RPMs on a Suzuki and get some more power going. But the Yamaha clutch actually wore faster. Yamaha, like straight line stability, is super good, but I don't know what these things come stock with spring-wise. I weigh 165 pounds. I don't know what these things are sprung for, but I felt it was super stiff and harsh. I, I was getting a lot of front to rear feedback and chatter, but side to side, I wasn't getting a lot of side to side kick. Like I felt like the bike was just stable. Like it wanted, it was point and shoot, wanted to go where it wanted to go, but it didn't, it didn't go side to side, but it was doing this number a whole lot. I was getting a lot of feedback front and rear. The shifting on it, I had to pull it so hard to get each upshift. So 
when I'd go to shift, I was really having to like focus on my shift points because it's such a hard engagement of the shifter versus the Suzuki, which had very clean engagement through the shift. So I felt like it was more of, I had to put more thought into my shift points on the Yamaha versus the Suzuki. So moving into the Suzuki, pro list the Suzuki. Everyone I know Suzuki is corner great. I, every run I went in, I stuck in it, got through it great. The downside I would say on the cornering of the Suzuki is like in a big burn, the, the back end wants to slide around because that front end so front biased that rear end really wants to get light wants to pull around on you. So in the ruts it strikes the stick, but in the big burns if you get like a big, like big bowl turn that rear end really wants to come around. So there's a pro and a con to the cornering, it depends on the cornering scenario that you are in. Suzuki they come with super stiff springs, they come with 190 pound sp springs I think and I would weigh 165 again. I was getting very hard feedback into the handlebars, which is not just because of suspension, the frame is stiff. Everyone knows the Suzuki's have a stiff frame. And I burned my finger on the Suzuki muffler. Well, with the Suzuki, very harsh through the frame, into the handlebars. Um, a lot of people say if you put the Kawasaki torque specs on the pivot and the engine hangers, all that stuff, it really helps loose up the frame. The engine noise on the Suzuki is very loud. Like, I didn't expect it to be so loud, so it's like, Almost if you have low oil in the motor is what this thing sounds like, and it's not low on oil. So this bike's super heavy, like to just put on the stand, it's like you feel like you're putting a 450 on the stand. It's like so heavy, but it doesn't feel that way on the track. I, so it feels very nimble. Like I can do anything I want, move on the bike, go wherever I go, but I, I feel that comes with that cost of lack of power. It's pulling so much less than the Yamaha is, so because it's pulling so much less, I'm able to move on the bike and feel more comfortable moving. So there is a comfort there, but at the same time, the comfort comes the cost of just a lack of power. Big question, positives and negatives of the bike, which bike would I buy? Everybody saw this coming, I would get the Yamaha over the Suzuki. Now, does that mean the Suzuki is a bad bike? No, it's not a bad bike. Could anybody go buy it and like it? Maybe, maybe not. If you're a pro, you're going to like it. Probably not the bike for a pro. If you're the weekend guy with those track and have fun, it's an easy bike to ride. It's still going to be a good bike for you. It's still going to get you a, you're still going to be able to learn. It's still going to be able to ride. It's still going to have fun. It's, you're going to save some money with it. Now, I know everybody's going to say like, oh, well, if you buy the, all the parts to make it as good, you may as well just buy the other bike. Absolutely. I agree. But do you need all those extra parts? For me, I would buy the Yamaha over this. I ride Cowies now. I've mean, always been a Honda guy. I'm all over the place. I like everything. If it's a dirt bike, I like it. So find a bike that you can work with, that it's convenient, like dealership, you get parts for it and stuff like that. Find a bike that's good for you and go with that. Hey guys, that's gonna be it for this one. This video, I'll leave a link in the description for a Yoshimir installation video on the Suzuki. If you wanna see an installation for a Yoshimir and how to put on, maybe you don't know how to put the exhaust on, maybe you don't know how it's gonna affect the sound, the feel, the writing, the frame, whatever. I'm about to get that video going here right now. So click the link in the description. As always, hit the like button, please. Subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next one.